Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to another episode of the Most City Podcast, live from Most City Studios in the heart of Most City, Texas. And y'all already know, man, it's the place where I try to politic with anybody coming through the mo, anybody from the mo, anybody out here that's in the mo getting it cracking. And today we really getting it cracking, man. I got I got one of my young boys in here, man. So so y'all know what it is. Uh uh, this ain't the place where I try to be messy. No, this is the place where we try to provide some inspiration, try to maybe find some untold stories and really see what's going down in the hood. I'm excited today. Young cat up here, man. Uh should have been up here, right? I was trying to get him up here for the most city movie soundtrack, man. We was working on a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh so Deuce Glenn, if you paying attention to this right now, stand up. Matter of fact, the whole most city look alive. Matter of fact, if you a third good Marshall Buffalo, you might want to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might know him as as, as, as B Ray. I got him saved in my phone as Deuce Glenn B Ray. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna introduce to y'all Mo City B Ray. You feel me though? So welcome to my spot, fam. Yeah, <laughs> Appreciate you pulling up. You know what I'm saying? Glad to politic with you yeah. for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So so anyway, like I said, I'm gonna start there. Supposed to have you up here for the most city movie, man. <laughs> yeah, I was working on this uh uh this song, right? Had yeah. like 21 people on the song. Yeah. And so man, I was fighting to get your verse. You was just we was missing each other, fam. We nah, was missing. You know, I'd be out of town working, man. So and so I was gonna ask you about that because I know that, but I don't know exactly what you be doing. Like this thing out of town driving trucks, you in construction. Nah, I'm an um, electrician, man. Electrician. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A, A four electrician, man. But yeah, that's what I do. Hey, so that's that's on the and you out of town doing it. So this ain't no residential stuff. You like this commercial yeah, doing yeah. contracting electrician yeah, we build, jobs. We building power plants out there. You know what I'm saying in Utah. Building, oh, yeah, yeah, so, real deal, shit. yeah, 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 for sure. But yeah, it's cool, <laughs> no, no, and it's good money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's good money, that's the money that that, that people don't be thinking about, right? Yeah. Is, is, is it would you consider that hard labor? Hell, no, nah. it ain't hard, okay. Nah, I, I'm, I'm fighting the weather, the weather, the hardest part. I'm fighting the weather, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't doing no work, I'm fighting the weather, staying warm is the hardest that's part, it, man. man. That boy said Utah, yeah, because this ain't nothing like this little. 50 degrees we got out here today. Nah, nice. We, we 19 when I go back. We 19 and below. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. But hey, that, that's the hardest thing, though. And it's like below freezing. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> I got to get to it, though. Yeah, you got to. You got, you got, to. To. got to. Okay, so that's over. When we don't That's okay, sweet. so that's so when I'm hitting you like Chuck, I'm out of town right now. That's what you at. He out there in the snow. And then when I'm coming in, I'm coming in for like a day or two. And it, dipping back out. And dipping back out. You know, that day or two, I'm trying to catch up with family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because so, that's you gotta come home and touch bases with with the yeah. reason I'm doing all this in exactly. the first place. Come on, exactly. and then everything else be extra after that. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, the song came out hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm thinking about doing another one yeah. just because it wasn't just you. I had a bunch of people who was like, man, I was trying to get on there. And, that's hard, you know, though. I like how you did that, though, man. That's that's real hard. Man. That's a good look. Yeah. Real good look, man. To I'm to my own billboards and everything, man. You man, shout out, to most of the, shout out to Mo McCoy. Shout out to Mo McCoy. Shout out to Sid. Yeah. And so, so I talked to Mo. I talked to Mo McCoy, what, three days ago? Yeah. Tubi told him uh uh first week in January. So we looking like next week sometime for for the movie to hit 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 Tubi. So y'all stay tuned for that. Most city the movie stay tuned. Stay tuned. coming soon, bro. Soundtrack available right now wherever you stream music at. Uh and it's dope, man. Got a bunch of people on there, man. Shout out to shout out to uh Lita Stacks, shout out to uh Smurfzilla, shout out to Smack Water, shout, man. It's, it's music on we got music on there. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 shout out to D Lo and Higher KO, man. Uh, so anyway, man, y'all watching Mo City podcast. I'm Chuck in here with 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 Mo City B Ray. So so let's talk about Deuce Glenn for a minute, right? Because uh, uh, most of the young boys at the time, like, how old are you? Thirty seven. Okay, so yeah, you you right under, you right under two and B and them. Yeah. You right, and so them was like my young boy when I was a, a junior, senior. Them niggas was freshmen, yeah, right at the ridge, yeah. And yeah, so yeah. that's kind of how that worked, you know what I'm saying? So you was in middle school during that time. Uh-huh. Was you planning on going to High Tower? I mean, to Marshall, or planning on going to the Reed? Because I don't believe Marshall was built yeah. then. See, look, 
I was supposed to graduate 04. I ended up graduating 05. Okay. So, bam, I went to Hightower in ninth grade. Okay, so you did spend a year yeah. in Hightower. I went to ninth, I went to Hightower the whole ninth grade year. I hated it. I hated Hightower first off. Bam. Because that was, that was, was that, how long had Hightower been open since then? Four years, because okay. my brother was a senior. Okay, so was he was the, the first was, graduating yeah, class. exactly. Gotcha. So, bam, I'm in ninth grade here, he a senior. So, bam, I go there ninth grade year, leave after my ninth grade year. Mm -hmm. So, bam, after I... 12th grade or a couple of years go by or whatever I felt that year. So then I catch the opening of third good. Mm. So now I'm the I'm the tenth grade. I'm the tenth grade. First more. You know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> and, and no, we the top of the class. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because so, y'all first tenth grade. Exactly. So we the gotcha. first graduating class though. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> third good. I was, yeah. For sure. And so it's crazy to hear that part because you know when I was at the Ridge, like that same stuff happened with Elkins. Mm -hmm. Right, Elkins open up and then they start splitting schools up and mm -hmm. splitting players up and people got to go here and people go here and so it happened. That's why Woodbury is trash now, right? Yeah, <laughs> because and I and shout out to the Ridge and the coach there because he a former uh, alumni and all that. But yeah, back in the day, all the players went to Elkins, then they split up again and went to High Tower, and now they at Marshall and Marshall pretty good. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so that's how, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's when all the new the school open, up. everybody gonna migrate. They gonna get all the best, everything. They gonna rezone yeah. it and do all that. That's why it's important to vote. Like for y'all who are eligible nah, to vote, man, really. vote locally so you can control zoning, you can control district changes and stuff like that. So okay, so that's how you ended up graduating from 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 Marshall. All right, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. And so, where, at what point did you, uh, how long was you rapping? I'm pretty sure you was rapping around all this time as well. Really? My niggas was rapping, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like T. Ree, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to T. Ree. Yeah, shout out to Reezy, Chill. All them niggas was doing that music shit hard, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm just... Dude. Yeah, I'm in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm badass little boy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Trying yeah. to find shit or whatever the case, but it was like everybody was rapping around me, so it wasn't just nothing, but T. Ree was re really one of the first ones that, you know what I'm saying, that started me rapping. Across the street from my house, we had a little studio, you know what I'm saying? Me, him, Lyrics, Lou. In the, in the hood. In the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the hood, so that's really what started me. Okay. And then I stopped. Then I jumped back after I got out the penitentiary on some. I was working at the club. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My, my bro, Killer Cam, Smurf, them nigga got me back to rapping. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Smurfzilla. Shout out Killer Cam. Man, shout you know out Smurf. Man. Yeah. But, it's the city of Houston. So yeah. that's, that's what he gave me to put on the most city movie soundtrack. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, that's, yeah that's he, gave me, he, gave, he gave me a nugget. He blessed me with that. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, it, it, it's dope, man. Okay, so... so Let's let's I'm gonna come back to that in a second because uh you you said something. You said before you did your uh stint in the pen, right? Mm -hmm. I just had A dub on here and uh A dub was sharing with me. Shout out A dub. Yeah, he did he did a he did a stretch too, right? Mm -hmm. And so one of the I like to take this time to kind of talk about that for a second. Like uh what your stretch look like? How long you was in and, and where you was at, fam? Man, I did five I did five hours a little bit everywhere. Um Barrington, Garza, um, Dickens. I was out there in the fair facility for a couple of years. Okay. But that whole little stretch, that whole little stretch, man, it was more like I was moving around. I'd do two, the first two years mm -hmm. was crucial, you know what I'm saying? Because Nigga, you gotta go in that hole and let, you know, and you got like, it out. Like, like, yeah, you know. Was, uh, how old was you then? First two years. First two years, I think I was like nineteen. Okay, so yeah, you would yeah. I was like nineteen, so I'm really trying to. I mean, with grown niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't no mama can't come get me. It ain't no everything ain't you know what mm -hmm. you think it is. You know what I'm saying? So and it I ain't the to, county either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't the county either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You really got you out there by yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so now you got to either build this alliance or. Uh, uh, you gotta get you gotta down do. or lay down, you know man, what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> hey, survival of the fittest for real, yeah. man. Eat or be eating, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that whole little experience, that shit right there molded me so live to the point where it's like, I'm cool with I went through that because it taught me and it molded me to who I am. Mm -hmm. Respect, you know what I'm saying? How I move, how I think, mm -hmm. all that shit come from there. From yeah, cause you gotta move and think right in order to survive. 
And so, so yeah, that, and that those those life lessons be applicable in the free world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Definitely. It might sound crazy, but I done told niggas like, hey, man, I feel like some of you niggas need to just go to jail. Well, so look, that's what Charleston White said. <laughs> and I don't just fuck with Charleston White like that. But but he said that. He said, man, a lot of y'all niggas just need to go to jail, fam. So y'all can regroup and get your mind right. Maybe like fi- right now, you, you might gonna, finally start reading something. You know what I'm saying? You gonna, or, or you going to die. Or you going to die. You know, you're out here moving photos. I'd rather you, I'd rather you get there and, and your people can come see you. You know what I'm saying? Then versus... They you buried out, you. You out, out of there. You out of there. Man, so if you don't mind sharing, what, what was this for? Like a, a, a penitentiary stretch with five, that wasn't nothing light. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't out here. <laughs> Man, there was a couple of little cases, but I really got blessed on my case. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I took so. it to trial and, and they gave me a good number before. You know what I'm saying? You, hey, you, you better... <laughs> do your knowledge and learn how to fuck with them people, man. Yeah. Like, that's for sure. You know what I'm saying? But nah, at the end it. of the day, forget all that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, get you some money. It ain't, I mean, I go to work. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I go to work. Well, and the reason I was bringing that up is because, like, in today's today's music, right, today's streets, right, niggas, niggas make jail cool, right? Mm-hmm. Niggas glorify it, you know what I'm saying? And, and when I got somebody who actually been in there and now on the outside I can tell you that it ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't even though, even though they just said sometimes somebody might need to be there, yeah. the reality is it ain't the place to be. You know what I'm saying? And so, so that's what I'm really getting to. Yeah. Like, if you missing, you missing, you, you know what I'm saying? You missed that five years. You know, mm-hmm. the, okay, say if I would have been doing what I'm doing now. That five, that whole five years. Guess what? We'll, you know, up, anybody up. that'll be that did time, we'll mm-hmm. be, we'll be up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We'll be up. So, so, so you get out, and uh, I'm assuming there's like that. Is that what kind of led you to into the uh, field of work you in now? Like, cause usually, right, feelings, and I'm one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it'd be hard to like just go get a regular job. You know what I'm saying? And so you end up working at a refinery or or working offshore or doing something like that. And so what kind of got you into the electrician work? All right, bam. Understand too. Okay, I did a th- I did a three stretch and then I did a two. So all this wasn't it wasn't a straight. It wasn't it, concurrent. It, no, no, it wasn't concurrent. Okay. That's just all the um all together. Mm-hmm. But the last time I got out of state jail, my wife, shout out my wife Mimi Sassy, you know what I'm saying? My wife. Um she was just like, bro, like you ain't gotta do none of that with whatever whatever I was doing. We ain't gotta do none of that right now. We okay, we cool. You know what I'm saying? Like she gave me like two years to just chill. No, like just don't, you know. Shout what out to the wifeys out here who holding it down. Nah, that's what that's called. Nah, that's called hey, holding it down. Man, listen, man. <laughs> hey, I tell them, I tell people all the time, if you ain't got nothing solid, like no solid foundation, which is a female, facts. you know what I'm saying? Facts. facts. Big old facts. You you just run in the circles because now I don't got nothing to keep me grounded when I want to go do this or when I'm thinking I'm making the right decision or you know what I'm saying, it 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 all play it all makes sense. Man, boy, say the mouthful. Like it, it take a solid it take a solid woman man to hold you down. Yeah, like that it it takes that it, it takes that stuff. Keep, so, order. keep everything in order. Keep you at peace. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> keep you at peace because that two years for you was time for you to figure shit out. And and you that whole and that whole time, hey man, I ain't I didn't miss a phone call, I didn't miss a mail call, I didn't miss a, a commissary, you know what I'm saying? I didn't miss not nothing. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? The whole time I was there. And when I got out, first person there. Mm-hmm. Waiting yeah. on you. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. <laughs> I love to hear that, bro. Shout out to shout out to real black love. You feel me? Yeah. Shout out to the real black love, man. All right, man. Mo City podcast shit, man. I'm Chuck. That's the homie. Mo City B Ray. We ain't here just politicking. So, uh, uh, at a certain point, right? At a certain point, you got serious with the music. He was like, okay, this is something I probably need to start putting more energy to, a little bit more time towards, a little bit more money in. Uh, so, so I really want to get to the formation of that, right? Like you running under a label right now. I saw the, uh, you had the Misfit Project drop, you know what I'm saying? It was a jammer, you know what I'm saying? And so you got heaters, you Most dropped a heater. The Misfit out right now on our yeah, platform. Screen net, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, it's available everywhere. You got some dope features on there. It's a real Mo City Project. And so if you're from the Mo, you're going to love it. If you're from the H, you're going to feel it. So so y'all go check that out. But 
how did you you drop that under a label or you dropped it all just independently? All that independent. All that everything been independent. Um, uh, um, for the Star Mill label, Mo Black Entertainment. I already got my DBA for it. Mo Black Entertainment. Yeah, Mo Black Entertainment. But um, yeah, I just dropped that and really on the cool that mixtape right there. That was just that was a lot of songs that I already had. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, man, let me just go on and drop some. Put some out there. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying because I was like. You know, it, it was taking too long, but I'm working on the EP right now. But yeah, I just had to drop some real quick, and it was old songs that I already had, but nobody ever heard them. Yeah, they, they knew to everybody else. Yeah, they knew, they knew to everybody, everybody else. else. You know what okay. I'm saying? So I just, you know, went with it. So where, I, what's the GMG? It's part of your handle. I was assuming that was like a label or something. Okay, GMG. All right, bam. When I got out the penitentiary, this is mm -hmm. how everything started, man. When I got out the penitentiary, I started working at a club. My brother got me working at a club, um, doing bouncing. What club right? you did? Um, Cubes on Bissonette. Okay, Southwest Side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, Will. But um, I, I started working over there, bam. Uh, met up with my um, with some bros. Uh, shout out Pimpin' Red, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Stack, shout out Chuck Wu. Bam, we started GMG, Get Money Gang. Get Money Gang. We used okay. to just go to, um, I was um, running this club. Red was running another club. You know what I'm saying? Bam, we just all brought that shit together. We was rocking out. I'm talking about seven days a week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Different so, spots. Yeah. Different spots. We took a picture one day, and I just, um, that's when that Pix art came and shit like that. I put GMG, Get Money Gang. You know what, what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. So then, yeah. Bam, we like shit. That's when the Pix art came. You yeah. Know? Somebody, yeah. Nah, for free real. Instagram, fam. Nah. Like, I got to understand. This is nah, for before real. all that. Man, for real. This, this is this is MySpace days. <laughs> yeah. But that's how it came about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then we just got with it. So we kind of like, hey, man, let's take this serious. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, bam. We know a lot of people got Get Money Gang. Yeah, you know that's a saying? familiar. Yeah, yeah. So. And the alternative growth management group, we also got that, you know what I'm saying? Because we work with wanna work with the kids and stuff like that, but let them know that, hey man, yeah, it's growth, you know what I'm saying? But that's what we're doing. Yeah, what's up? So growth management group. Yeah. So get but, money game. Mm hmm So, you know, that's just that's where, where the came GMG from. came from. That's where it just came from. And I had to, you know, rock with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's that was the movement. That was yeah. moving at the time. All right, I got it. That thanks for that that clarity. Yeah. So yeah, Misfit album available right now. Working on an EP, and you gonna drop this EP under Mo Block, or yeah. you go okay? Under so Mo that's Block. gonna probably be the first release, yeah, yeah, for sure. Under that, yeah, for sure. All right, so you looking for like artists? What you doing? What's the what's the goal for this label? Right now, I'm just focused on just getting it, just getting it jumping as far as like with my music right now. Get everybody, you know, what I'm saying that's that I'm messing with. Um, uh, familiar with what's going on, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Do some to the brand. Yeah. This and new then, brand yeah, we yeah. out here. I got some um, I got some little cats I was looking at that um, that 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 kind of you know mess with me tough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That yeah, because that's the reality. Yeah, right? like yeah. like uh uh, I was finna say rap is a young man sport. You know what I'm saying? But it, it is and it ain't right. The veterans making good money yeah. and they thriving in it, right? But but the young boys is it's catered for them. You know what I'm saying? It's catered for them. So yeah, you definitely have to have your eye open for the next two so 18, 19 year olds coming through who who ready, right? I'm more I'm more of the like I get my money off the, you know, what I later. Spend, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. All fans and all that shit. But like right now, I know y'all hot. I know y'all can go over there and jump across the stage and do all mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, I'm all laid back rapping. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's so, gonna be where the money at. Cause exactly. the spins ain't gonna really pay out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Until you hit, mm -hmm. you got an amount. And, and even then, they say Snoop, Snoop, <laughs> Snoop, accounting. He posted this on the ground. Uh, Snoop, Snoop says the accountant hit him was like, bro, Spotify wanted to celebrate. He had two billion streams. Right. He hit his accountant up. It was like, how much money did two billion streams generate? It was less than 14 bands. <laughs> right? Two billion streams was less than 14 grand in, 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 in revenue. Yeah. And so it so was like, fuck that plaque. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? And so, and that was just on one platform, right? So you probably do the math. You get, you know, streams on Amazon, streams on Spotify, streams on Tidal. Tidal pay out the most, but they got the lowest usage. Right. Yeah. And so so I tell all people who in the music business, uh, especially if you're using somebody like, you know, distro kid or something like that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I use. Uh uh, yeah, Spotify gonna pay out point oh oh one cent, Amazon paying out like a half a cent, title actually paying out a whole cent. Yeah. Right. And last time I checked. And so 
it's those things, right? And so you got to run up millions of streams to see anything that's really worthwhile, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, so I guess the bigger question is, like, we, understanding that that nigga ain't gonna really make a lot of money from streams <laughs> unless he doing shows. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the what's the what's the goal? Right? Like, obviously, it's to put your message out. Yeah. You see, know what I'm saying. See, my thing is like, I, once I get that, once I get that buzz, see. Niggas don't understand that buzz and that my brand mm -hmm. is bigger than the money because right now, like once I solidify myself and all in every which way, I'm gonna be able to go walk in the room and, and, and get what I want. You know what I'm saying? So, without the bread. Without the bread. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so you're really finessing it to increase exposure. Exactly. Right? Get exposure. Exactly. Look, once once they once they feeling me. They feeling what I got going on. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Like really, like my thing is to give back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like period. Like whether it's, I don't know if it's gonna be with these kids coming up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the juvenile kids. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Or whether it's just giving to the homeless. But regardless, my I know my my purpose is to thank you. You know what I'm saying? To do keyword purpose. Yeah, yeah. You know that's what I'm saying? Keyword right yeah, there. That's, you know yeah, we all have a purpose. Exactly. We got a purpose. Exactly. So. And I'm glad you know that. It's a lot of people out here moving and haven't identified their purpose, right? Yeah. They can be out here moving. I'm doing this. I'm busy. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm making money. I'm doing all these things, but I ain't identified my purpose yet. You're serving your purpose. Yeah. So as long as you know the purpose, yeah, the money going to come. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> and, when, and, yeah. and that's what uh, people don't understand. Like, I'm not, hey, man, you got to wear up. Nah, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not tripping on that because I already know. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm 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 not doing it for it. I'm doing it for it, but I'm not doing it for it. If you understand that, understand you know what I'm saying? Because because that's it's one of those things that gotta happen. It, so I'm doing it because it gotta happen. It but that ain't, that ain't why I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah. No, I get it. Yeah. Find your purpose, man. Yeah. Look, I'm looking this way to say that because uh, if you're watching this or listening to this right now, uh, uh, understand the value in knowing why you're here. Man. Like everybody got a purpose. Everybody got something that God put in them to do. You know what I'm saying? And and the faster you can identify and, and start moving in that, then the faster other stuff start changing. You know what I'm saying? As long as you and 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 another problem be some of us, and I'm guilty of this, rebelling, right? I know the purpose. I don't feel like doing that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and so nah, you, you start rebelling against it. Mm -hmm. And then you start, and other problems start happening. You know what I'm saying? Saying? And ain't nothing else working. Ain't nothing else working. Ain't nothing else. Damn, <laughs> man. Well, you know what? Let me go on and try this over here. You yeah. know what I'm And hey. you know what you should be hey, doing. Man, and so identify your purpose and move in it, fam. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. So uh, uh, let's talk about Hood Day for a minute, man. For y'all who missed it, you know what I'm saying? We had the second annual uh, Hunters Glen 1 and 2. Hood day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to the haters who was trying to stop it. Nah, uh, sure. you, we love y'all too, uh, because we all from the same hood, you know, and that's what I was really trying to explain to them. I was like, you got to understand, everybody you see here at this park at one point or another lived in this neighborhood or still do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we still own the crib over there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, right. like, 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 and so anyway, shout out to everybody who came out. But while we was there, you know what I'm saying, we shot the video. For for the hood day song, was that song your idea or Tak idea? Nah, it was like, or how? Because Tak just hit me with it. That's how I got introduced to it. Tak was like, "Say, Chuck, you know we're gonna do this song. We're gonna try to shoot a video that day. I need you on the song." It, it has to be Chaco. Um, it has to be Chaco idea, I think, or somebody. That's who. Man, I don't know because Lloyd, Lloyd, the one that made the beat, L A T. Mm -hmm. He hit me before Taco, and, and he was so he was so hyped up. <laughs> he was so hyped up about the beat and the whole little, uh, you know, Concept, yeah, yeah. the whole situation. So I think he just really hit me before Taco could hit me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I, I know for a fact it was Taco and somebody else. Um, I kind idea. of together. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And they hit me and was like, "Hey, we going You know what I'm saying? Woo woo. -woo. You know what I'm saying? We need your verse, you know what I'm saying? And, and I was one of the last ones. Me too. Because yeah. <laughs> when I got there, most of the verses was done. Yeah. And so uh, Taki me with it. He's like, man, we're doing this song. So then I'm like, I know everybody in the hood who rap. And so I start asking questions, man. We're going to get Ned on there. We're going to get feet on there. We're going to, it's a bunch of people who rap in the hood. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. like, man, no, because we ain't trying to have no long ass song, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to try to shoot a video for it. We need to keep it at a certain length. 
<laughs> send me the track, fam. Let me let me go yeah, yeah. so I can at least learn it and be ready. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so he sent it, man. I wrote to it and went to his spot over there, laid it down, you know what I'm saying? And uh that was that, you know what I'm saying? And so uh I hadn't heard the final till that day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, I um I was the last one. Mm -hmm. So I laid mine right after uh, no, no, I two was after you, right? Yeah, two they two verse was laid, but the but the way he the way he arranged the song, yeah, he put two after okay. me. Yeah. Well, I was the last one to um to record, so I, I I got to listen to everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, look, man, let me send me, you know what I'm saying? I had already had my verse uh, wrote. Oh, but you had a chance to get you it You know right. what I'm saying? But yeah. not because I, I wanted to make sure, like, I, I ain't know where he was going to place it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then he ended up placing it, man. It worked out it worked loud. It worked out good, yeah, though. It worked lovely. out well, man. Yeah, then man. even the way the video came out, your boy did his thing on hey, the video. Man, shout out Five Cast, man. Shout out Five Cast, man, for real, man. And he did a good job. Matter of fact, Y'all check this premiere right now. This video, y'all can watch the full version on YouTube, but hood day. Deuce Glenn shit, man. Y'all know about that. five cast, man. Man. Soldier, most city veteran. Uh -huh. Niggas thinking uh -huh. this sweet day was run up in our residence. 24 hours a day, I used to slide down next to me. I cut dubs in the mo. I know a couple of mess like Steve and Little Joe. What up to Greedo? You can catch me hitting licks with them trips by the stove. David Lee had the bars and Slew had the drove. If you ain't from Ryan here, get some places you can't go. Like the park after dark, you get bit. By a shark, RIP the T Walker, skinny nigga with some heart. RIP to all the soldiers, we done lost in the war. Remember, Flat got shot, you can still see the scars. Richie really was a hoop, I feel he could have went far. Free my nigga mom behind the motherfucking bars. We just want to ball about some motherfucking cars. And pull up in the hood like some motherfucking stars. And we looking good, and we looking great. Gotta thank God then. Grab us a plate. I know Reezy coming, but he bound to be late. And we show each other love with the pounds and the shakes and the shakes. Yeah, sunshine is to kick back. Put us on the map. No. So, so that was just a single. You know what I'm saying? That was just a single. That's just kind of, uh, you gonna release that? Like, like we dropped the visual. I'm sitting there like, man, this should probably be available for streaming somewhere. Man. Shout out Chaco, shout out LAG. <laughs> hey, them the two we need to highlight, you know what I'm saying? Cause I mean, me and Chaco talk, and um, and um, um, I was telling him like five cast, the one that shot it, he was like telling me like he been like letting a lot of people hear, and they're like, man, say, like, hey, where can they get it? Where can they get it at? That's what I'm saying. I'd have people ask me too. So I'm like, tell Chaco, I mean, he like, man, I don't know shit. We just, you know, we were just doing something, you know what I'm saying? So Chaco, I'm gonna hit you up, cause uh. Look here, I got most serious ENT. Like we just talking distro kid. It ain't nothing for me to upload it and run a split with everybody yeah. and run, run it up. <laughs> run it up. You know what I'm saying? Just up. like that. Like we yeah. had what seven people on there. Yeah. Uh yeah, we run a we run a 13% split with everybody. You know hey, what I'm saying? Man, <laughs> so, hey, for real. Cause niggas looking for it. Get some artwork done for the That's for, what I'm saying. Yeah, for if sure. We use the same artwork. I'll pull the YouTube thumbnail from the video and 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 design something. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause yeah. it got everybody on there. Everybody on there. Hey man. Hey man, let's do it, man. <laughs> all right. So, sure. so Taco, I'm gonna hit you up, bro. So we can just make sure, make sure we all standing on business. And then uh, yeah, man. Cause I don't really we just need it up there. Sure. It need to be up there, man. Uh -huh. Hood day song, man. We all on that thing. Shout out to Flat. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing. Shout out to Fatal Boy. Shout out to Taco B Ray. I'm on there. Yeah. Shout out to Lita Stacks. Uh, uh, uh. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Rixie, Rix, yeah, yeah, Fatal Boy. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, yeah, man. That was up. That was up. So, so back to this music, man. Mo Block Nt coming soon. Uh, uh. What's up with the relationship with you and Ro? Right, I know y'all y'all tight. Y'all he got a feature on on the Misfit joint. Y'all got a video that's that's hot out there. But I also know that like he in my age range. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we was at the ridge together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> and so so I'm curious to know how how that relationship formed. Shit, man. Um, that um that my name good. It mm -hmm. ain't on most of the Misfits. It's crazy because I just dropped it as a single, so it ain't no no it ain't no no album or nothing. This is this is available. It's just available. I'm gonna drop it on on the EP. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But how that came about, um, thought the video was dope right there in BG. Shout out uh 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 No Cap Films. Mm -hmm. Um, seal the shelf. Mm -hmm. Seal the shelf. 
Uh yeah, yeah. Um my partner Trey, um um Seal, Seal the Chef. Okay. Um he a good he a OG in the hood, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can um explain this to you or know him. Um from du from Deuce Glen? Nah, he's from Bridegate. Okay. I think he's from Bridegate, but he got a brother named Trey. Child Trey, they all went to the ridge. I probably know him if I see him, bro. Yeah, uh, probably... baby, he, they, they would be with um, Billy Hunter. Okay, and all them, you know what I'm saying. But he actually, shout out Billy, man. yeah, shout out Billy and all them, man. Shout out Seal, man, yeah, the yeah. Chef. Um, shout out to all my clinics in BG, man. What up, Bar? What up, Hemp Hill? You know what I'm saying? Hey, folks. CNC Barbershop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hear Seal like, hey, man, uh, I'm trying to do something with Ro. And then I was hollering at Kinnaboo, you know okay. what I'm saying? I had I had that seal in Kinnaboo. Bam. When I hollered at him, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, about two or three days later, he like, send me something. You know what I'm saying? And he sent me something, I sent him something, and he he um he that my name good, right? Mm -hmm. So bam, on the other end, I'm not knowing, you know, he asking about me or whatever. Yeah, he figuring you. Yeah, he, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I got um shout out uh BJ, shout out Foe, shout you know what I'm saying? Shout, shout out you. I just yeah, hey, like, hey, <laughs> shout out Kenabu, shout out uh Lolita Monroe. Shout out you know Lolita, man. Big Lolita, you yes, know sir. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. They all kind of like just vouch for me, you know what I'm saying? And like like Lolita like vouch for me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And got him on the phone. We chopped it up. And like I say, it was just all love. Like it was all love. Like whatever they said, you know what I'm saying? Like it was all love. And then from then he jumped on the song, sent it back. Hey man, however you want to do the video, he was down for it. However to do the video. It's not the road. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I got him on the wall right there. Yeah, I'm a, sure. yeah, I got him on the wall out hey, there. Shout out yeah. Ro. Hey man, listen, I I'm a row head. I I'm rocking with Ro. You know so what understand. Saying? I'm one, uh, me too, right? Yeah. I'm one of them cats who, like I said, we were on the same age. And so I got like all 50 of his albums. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got all 50 of them. Don't, don't matter if, if these songs going to be on all these. I got all 50. Yeah. And I can tell you, as a row head, right? We're going to be a row head for a minute. I'll tell you now, anybody who's watching this, I'll be glad to have your debate. You can post in the comments about all that boy albums. Uh, 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 no Love Boulevard and King of the Ghetto, Zero versus the World, top three Zero albums. Can you like, get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3-0 album. Zero versus the world. Zero, the ghetto. Hey, no love zero, for the bar, hey, zero versus the world is my number one, man. And then life. Life is tough. Come on, bro. man. Life is tough, bro. Hey, bro hey. I was going through some shit when life came out. You know what I'm saying? I remember, but 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 like no love boulevard, bro. Yeah. Yeah. King of the ghetto. Like them three. Come on, man. It just so shout out to Roe, man. Shout I love to, to get Ro, up here. We need the politics. Man, matter of fact, I put me and Roe. We ain't got no personal relationship, like number ain't in my phone or nothing like that. Yeah. But um, but we got money together. Yeah. Back in the day, this was probably 15 years ago. Yeah, I was doing these open mic nights, yeah. right? And so I had all these open mics, and then I would take all the open the artists, the underground artists, and I would let them open for headliners, yeah. right? And I would probably do that once a quarter with with my homie uh Mark Anthony, and so so we ended up doing the show at we did a screw fest at Stereo Live. Right, I'm that's kind of Barrio Stereo Live, it was Stereo Live, yeah, Richmond, and so we had we had Row on the ticket, had Lil Key on the ticket, and so uh, he showed love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I just remember hitting him with the front end at the strip club. He came through. We shot the promo video. He yeah. put up a crash the show. So, hey, uh, one thing I can say, man, like niggas be talk, man, bro, really a laid back nigga and cool. Like for that nigga, what he did for me. I'm always rock with him. Like, Thanks. you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga ain't, nigga gave me a verse, a video, you know what I'm saying? Nigga then took me to places and let me rub shoulders with motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? So, Look, like, I rock out. Real G shit. Dang, good. Don't explain what's understood. Got a problem, I'll pull up in your hood. Bitch, my name. I done sold a little soft, and I done sold a little hard. But I'll rob a nigga quick, and I put that on guard. See, most of these niggas fraud, and they name ain't shit. Trying to hide behind guns, or a bullshit ass click. See, all you niggas hoes on another nigga dick. Can't get it by yourself, cause your name ain't legit. See, I go where I wanna, just me and my bitch. If a nigga try to test me, I'ma give him the whole clip. See, I'm all about a dollar, trying to make my
my money flip. I be fucking with my dog, but you fucking with a crib. I'm just trying to get a sip of that ace time tea. Ask about me. I'm good in these ace time streets. See, I was in the field when it was ace time beef. With a rumor of you snitching, they'll knock out your teeth. I'm hands on, nigga, got the game from the OG. And I ain't falling for the bluff. You gon' have to show me. It's my name. I don't know about the next nigga I'm cut from. Real shit. Salute, fam. Oh, shit, fam. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. So, yeah, I just, I saw the connection. Yeah. And I was like, bro, niggas got, definitely got a, 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 a age difference. You know what I'm saying? But I could see him little brewing you. And so, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, was just yeah. wondering nah, how that nah. relationship came by. Shout out to Big Low Leader. She sat right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In politics with me. So, yeah. so that episode available wherever y'all streaming, y'all podcast at, bro. Uh man, I'm in here, man. Mo City podcast, politicking with the homie Mo City B Ray. You know what I'm saying? We just chopping it up about music. So working on the EP, you said that's what's coming next. Mm -hmm. So let's that's that's what's next on my list here, right? Make Mo City great again. Yeah. Got that up here, you know what I'm saying? You got it around the neck, you know what I'm saying? So it got brought the battery in with it. So so talk about that for a second. What's what that mean to you and, and what it kind of stands for? All right. Uh shout out. Well, really, I've been saying make Mo City great again for for some years, mm -hmm. years, years, years. Like, but, uh, before, before, before Trump started to make America great again? All that. Okay. Before, <laughs> probably around the same time, because I think he did start that shit first. That you know kinda, what I'm saying? Yeah. Worldwide, but yeah, I brung it to the Mo type shit. You know what I'm saying? But with, um, at first it was just a saying, but... Um, when my bro, uh, my brother, uh, A Dub got out. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Me, A Dub, Mike Hop. Um, uh, shout out all my brothers, Mike Hop. Um, Smurf, uh, Q Boogie, who is Q Boogie? Shout mm -hmm. out Q Boogie. Um, Smurfzilla. We out uh, and uh, Freaky Reese. Man. You know what I'm saying. I just had this visual. I was at. Uh, I'm gonna let you get back to the story, man. But I went to the. Uh, I went to the. Uh, uh, Mike, it was a, it was a mixer at, at address. You know what I'm saying? I was up there getting some footage for Smurf. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was my first time meeting the nigga Boogie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I'm just, I just, I'm laughing because that boy show was crazy. Like he, he did. <laughs> hey man, yeah, he, he was a fool with it. He was, he was definitely a fool with it, man. Nah, for sure. And so anyway, I'm, I'm familiar with who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. But we all we all came together, you know what I'm saying, and start did a um a stop the violence um block party. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you know, just kinda like stopping the violence and stuff, um, you know, just bringing awareness to the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But prior to that, we was been doing like um paintball wars, you know what I'm saying, man. We stopped violence in the neighborhood for like a month. We had it was no paintballs in, in, in Houston. Like mm -hmm. no paintball guns, no academy, man. We Man, this shit is in on, on the in the news, you know okay. what I'm saying? But we have been doing it. So, man, when they dub came home, we all came together and started that and did that uh, guns down, block party, bam. Dub, you know, kind of like pulled us to the side and like, hey, man, you know, we need to take this serious, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to Mar and I'm going to get my uh, my Dubway Foundation. Hey, y'all go, you hey, know what I'm saying? Go get, you know, cause we, we, hey, we you know got what I'm saying? Do this. He, he, seen, he seen what just happened. So bam, that he did the A Dub Foundation. I want to go do um Make, make Mo City Great Again. You know what I'm saying? So from then it's like, oh yeah. So Make Mo City Great Again is a nonprofit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but it's also like that's just my brand. You know what I'm saying? So it's really every is it's my brand, it's everything, brand. you know what I'm saying? And that just goes for it's it's all the way around. Make Mo City Great Again, like just period, like by how we move, how we mess with these youngsters. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Hey man, I'm from the old school. Exactly. I, if I see an old lady for the walk into that dog, I'm, I'm finna hold the door. Come on, man. That's I'm finna hold the door. That's what I'm about. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm about saying? to stand up and let her sit down yeah. if I'm the only chair in here. Come yeah. On, man. And that go plot for kids too. You know what I'm saying? And so Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's that's basically sure. like how I just moved. So how that came about is like I said, dub. You know, shout out A Dub. You know what I'm saying? It, hey, he made me get serious about it. You know what's what I'm up. saying? So now that's how that goes. Now it's my brand, and hey, that's how we moving. Well, I'm telling you now, I like the chain, and if it hold that up, uh, I like the chain. I need one of them or a hoodie 
or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I like the hoodie three X fam. And just send me the link. I'll see you the cash, whatever you need. Cause I saw the merch. Yeah, and merch. So, hey, yeah, hey, I saw hey, the merch out there. Hey man, I got I'm so Mo City. I got uh everybody want Mo. You know what I'm saying? I got make Mo City great again, and I just got the Mo City. All the the merch is coming back out, man. And hey. I got some more things coming line too from the B Ran Shano show, but we're gonna get to that yeah, in a little bit. Yeah, we're getting to that in a second. But man. I got merch everywhere, man. I'm telling okay, you. Okay, okay. So yeah, I need I need the most make most city great again hoodie and all that. And while we talking about merch, y'all watching this right now, y'all like the most serious hat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got most city merch and hoodies and tees, everything available online at mostserious.com. Go to mostserious.com slash merchandise, and man, yeah, support the movement. Support the movement. Yo, rep the movement with most serious fashions. Copy a fresh snapback or hoodie or a tee. I'll represent the Most City Podcast, the Bake with Bake, or Gloves Up, Guns Down. Everything is custom made with love from our top notch manufacturers. We got a dope range of colors and sizes to fit your vibe. Everything from blue, red, green, black, white, and more. Rip the mold and keep it fresh, fam. Hit up moseries.com slash merchandise and order today. Let's go. Support the movement. Support the sure. movement. Straight up, straight up, man. I'm in here, man. Y'all tuned into the Mo City Podcast. I'm Chuck. That's Mo City B-Ray. We just in here politicking on some real Deuce Glenn, Mo City shit, yeah, man. man. So uh, let's talk. let's talk family for a minute. Like you shout out the wifey, you brought her up earlier. She obviously solid, you know what I'm saying? She held it down. Uh um, uh, y'all got children? Yeah, like got four. Got four. Yeah. I, I, I met your son uh 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 at the, uh, at, the, at, the at the hood day, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? At the hood day. Yeah. What's what's your what's their ages? Okay, I got two uh 17 year olds, a 12 year old and an eleven year old. Okay. My two um boys. Um my junior, he just turned 17 this month. And then my um my youngest boy twelve, and then my little girl is um eleven. Eleven. All right. Senior, junior, seventh grade, fifth grade. That's what's up. God bless you. God bless you. Luckily, you got a little space in between them. So my me and my wife, I we emptiness. Yeah. Right. My youngest, my youngest home right now, but she on a break from college. She about to leave Tuesday to drive back to Baton Rouge. She a senior at Southern, yeah. and that's my youngest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, but. I say God bless you because at the time they was they was uh 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 13, 15, and two 17 year olds, all yeah. teenagers in the house. Oh bro, I'm walking around there. Uh, who want it? I, yeah. I, I'm ready to fight every day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and just just dealing with that energy, yeah. teenagers, and I was young myself. Uh-huh. And so, you know what I'm saying? It was it was just different. So God bless you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, hey, like like I tell people all the time, my my sons, hey, I treat them like my brother. So you, you got know what I'm saying? They I'm talking about same, same height. We all wear the same clothes. No, so they all in your closet. Come they, on, man, they, I'm talking about what I got. Man, what my stuff is? Yeah, well, come on, man. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I ain't really had that challenge because I was just big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. they couldn't fit my stuff. Should be the same size. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out to the to the to the black man, you know what I'm saying, who who dealing with adversity like the pen is still being there for his fam. Like that's why I asked you that. Because yeah, that's sure. the moral. Like that's the picture I'm trying to show people. Like you yeah. could be a street nigga, you could be a hard working nigga, oh, yeah. and you could be a a a, a, a feeling, right? <laughs> and at the same time, you still provide for your fam, bro. And like, give that's the, not no excuse. And give them the game. Like me, I'm giving them the game. I'm not going. I'm not going to lie to them. I'm going to tell them exactly how it is and how I seen it. Because on the cool, if I would have listened to my parents, I would have been way better off. But I ain't trying to hear that. And then it's a, it's, it's a cycle. They ain't mm-hmm. trying to hear that. But I'm, hey, bro, hey, listen, you have to hear this. You, hey, bro, I'm telling you, listen, you do it like this. Hey, man, you're gonna be live by the time you, you know, what by I'm the saying? time this happens. Yeah. And, and you know, when you when you 17. It's hard to look past the next two, three years. Yeah. Like it's hard to see 30. But you telling them, bro, if you do it like this, by the time you hit 30, it's you gonna know, be up. I'm talking about feet up <laughs> on, on at the Bahama. I'm <laughs> saying, yeah, but, but uh, it's hard to it's just hard to look that far yeah. at that young age. And so but it was still cool. got, you gotta instill it in the man. Let them know that mm-hmm. hey, hey man, you can have and do anything you want to do. Like start your stuff right now. Straight up. Right now. Right, right now. Right now. And then I yeah. 
do the work at school and all that, but my, I want you to focus on what you want to focus on. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, because that's what's going to make you the money. Mm -hmm. and well, you, and the reality with school these days, right? Yeah. Like it's just different. It's 2023 now. It ain't, it's about to be 2024 in a few days. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like it was in the 90s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, or even in the 80s and prior times. Like if you got children, like I just told you, my daughter's senior in college. That was something she wanted to do. She went to go get her education and pursue the full year. But at the same time, I was like, if you want to pursue a trade, you know what I'm saying? You want to pursue something that's going to that's gonna put you in the workforce immediately, I'm fine with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, like, go pursue a real estate certificate, you want to go do any of these things, you don't necessarily need to create that debt. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't mad at you if you do, and we're gonna pay it. It is what it is, but like, just know. <laughs> because, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it, it is. It is. There. It's there. And, and in this day and yeah. age, like, the reality is, them bachelor degrees, they not, they, 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 they lose in value. Yeah, they man. costing more and they lose in value. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that work experience is almost equally important, if not more. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? What so, you know. What you know. What you know and who you know. And how much experience you got doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so that's what's up, bro. Keep stay on them, right? Yeah, sure. Obviously stay on them. Keep being that that example uh uh that that you being. All right, so you just you mentioned uh, you mentioned Shan Shano. So you about to hop into the to the kind of broadcast space, media space, you know what I'm saying? Man, really we been in that space, like, uh, like I said, um, when, uh, when I st when we started that GMG, mm -hmm. and uh, we was all just rocking out, man. We got videos of just, you know, like uh, me and my boy Shano, we just kind of like after the club, we might just be doing some funny thing, and we used to go walk up on females and mix their drinks with our hand at the at the after hour, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just do crazy things, you know what I'm saying? But. Like we just made it a show, like you know what I'm saying, and like he kind of like he got a lot of people that follow him where he's from, and mm -hmm. you know where I'm from too. So it was just like people clicked on, but we stopped. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Stopped for some years, and they've been asking about it. So we, we well, and now to... with times changing, y'all can get in there and actually monetize this type of content. So you got Shano with you, Shano. Let's come on to the table, fam. Uh, we we'll talk about the B Ray and, and, and Shano show. You know what I'm saying? Figure out. Get get some information. Let's see here. Scoot over to your left a, a, a smidget, bro. There you go. We good. We good right there. Yeah. 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 Mike, check one, two. Got Shano. Where who's you from, Shano? Shit, I'm from Third Ward. From man. the tray. Got That's the tray up. island in the mall right now. It yeah, might be where I know you from, fam. Nah, nah. I know where I know you from. Shit, from that Barrio shit you was talking about. Okay. Uh, you know VJ, right? 713 film. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my boy. I used okay, to. Okay, okay, yeah, because he used people. to work with Mark Anthony a yeah, lot. Yeah. Anthony, you said to Mark Anthony, he, remember we, y'all had the uh, strip club on 290 over mm -hmm. there? I told you I was doing yeah, open mics at a strip club, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Said, I was like, yeah, that's why I know yeah. that boy from. Oh, but on another note, uh, is Zero Power. Yeah. Power. Zero Power. Uh -huh. Power Tough, fam. Yeah, Zero Power. <laughs> power I told tough, Ro that that day, he, he had the video. I told her that Power. A lot of people sleep on their power. Oh, it's tough, fam. Power nah, it's tough, hard, fam, like, bro. Track for track on there. That's Everyone. How, that's how I felt about King of the Ghetto, bro. Yeah. That King yeah. of the Ghetto, man. That's how I felt that about That power, silent, like, a lot of people don't even, haven't even heard it before. You know what I'm saying? Well, well I'm a roll head. Like, yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I know you heard yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then crack. Crack tough. Crack. <laughs> crack. Yeah. Crack yeah. tough. Come on, oh, man. I'm talking about crack. so crack. hard. Yeah, yeah. Crack yeah. so hard, though. But, but But crack was more... It was for the time period too. It was like perfect, bro. Like Roll Street crack nigga, and Crack was more commercial. Crack was probably his most commercial, other than the Life and Times of Joseph McVeigh. Crack was probably his most commercial album. You know what I'm saying? It was, cool, it was hard though. It was cool. It was hard though. But like though, those other three, I got, I got, I got specific times in my life, right, where I was going through shit. You know what I'm saying? And and uh. I don't fuck with you. Got me through that, yeah. or 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 uh, what was the song? It was the number three on King of the Ghetto. I used to wake up to that, you know what I'm saying, and work out to that, you know what I'm saying. And so so, but power was tough. Shout out to Ro, man. Nah, uh, yeah, Ro, man. So 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 we got the B Ray Shano show coming up. You know what I'm saying. We got Most City. We got Third War coming together for for a, 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 a video show project. 
But shit, I went to school in the moto. You know what I'm saying? I went to E.A. Jones. I went to Mo City, and I went to the Ridge. You know what I'm saying? What year you went to the Ridge? Shit. I was supposed to graduate 04, but then I left the Ridge my junior year. You know what okay. I'm saying? But everybody. Oh, so you out here in the mo like, like tough then. Yeah, like shit. Okay. I, shit, my old man got out the pen. We moved from Third Ward, you know what I'm saying, to Westbury Village. You know okay. what I'm saying? Got two you. streets. When the two streets first got up there, man. <laughs> I remember when that was under construction, bro. I remember when they was building that. Dog. Two streets was tough. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think that's where I went and recorded my verse at Tacos over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I went. And so, uh, all right, man. So, so, so we got Shano, man. Mo City, Third Ward, Connect up in here. I love, you know what I'm saying? I got love for the Mo. All them boys, like them my niggas, man. Smart right Lilla, A Dub, them man, Killer. Mike Hop, man, goddamn middle school. Shit. It's like elementary yeah. middle school though. So. Yeah, yeah. So way back. Yeah, yeah. For was sure. y'all niggas in the sports? Y'all, I mean, most of us was trying this to play I, football. Bro, this nigga always made point guard because he was the smallest I nigga, and he kid. had I've been and he had dribbles, so man. Long. You know what I'm saying? I say short with handles. Yeah, that's I'm that's usually point I, guard. Yeah. Hey, hey. Then I... Did you? I know, right? Yeah. Talking about uh look look if y'all watch the uh if y'all watch the new show with uh Melo and and and, and the homie Miro, uh uh Carmelo Anthony they yeah. got a podcast. Oh yeah yeah. Instead yeah, of yeah. pause, he say man pardon my lift. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so pardon the lift, man. But uh yeah. Look, did y'all did y'all play like or, uh, organized ball? Yeah. Like for the schools? Yeah, Mo City. Oh, you played yeah. for Mo City. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Mo City. That's what's up. Yeah, see, we played in the county too. We had a. <laughs> Three months running out, we never lost. Like right. boy, we taking soups and everything. Nah, for real. Yeah, they, hey, talking, nah. they talking about them boys, them boys running plays. And they, they must know each other. Yeah, them niggas got to the be playing out in the world. Nah, Ain't no way yeah. they killing us like this here. Oh, man, that boy <laughs> took me to the store. My first time, I did a short stretch in Fort Bend County, right? New Jail? Uh, yeah, this yeah. is New Jail. And this was, it was new then, right? This is like 99. Oh, this is like 99. I graduated in 97. I'm working and I done some stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Got caught up. And so I'm in there. And uh, it's crazy because I go in and I don't I don't really know nothing. I'm starving, though, at the time I get in there. And he when he said hooping in there, that's what made me think of this story, because they had a little rec center. And so I go in there. They take me to the to the like big room. They show me where my cell at. I drop my pad down. I do this. I come back out. They didn't already ate. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm starving and they didn't already ate, right? Yeah. And so, uh, but they out there hooping. And these niggas is shooting jumpers for soups, right? I'm nice with the jumper. You know what I'm saying? I've been nice with the jumper. Bro, I go in there, step out on faith, because I knew I ain't got no money. I ain't got no commissary. Put me in the game, coach. Yeah. I ain't even took a shot on this goal. Yeah. Splash. I'm talking about that was all Jesus and prayers in that shot, fam, because yeah. I was starving, right? And then, and then, and then the nigga who I shot, I ain't even recognize he knew me, but I ain't know him. Yeah. Took his soup with the shot and he threw me with extra one. Yeah. Shout out to Scott, man. You know, what yeah. Scott did that for me. And, I, and then and then I blessed him with my with my overalls. Cause I had on, I went in with the with the uh with the white. Thermal. I knew I was finna be in there. I went in with the white thermal. And so uh when I was getting ready to go, yeah, everybody was, let me get the thermal, let me get the thermal. I looked out for him and I took that off right there. Yeah, talking about soups, me and this boy, we Fort Bend County is not the place you want to be. Jail, we, period. We used to spread every day together, boy. It was some times when it was one real. soup, one soup, we, one soup. No, it's much rice. Oh, we got to make it work. Man, we swear that boy to the mountaintop. We're talking about to the tippy top. That boy got so much sodium in it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for a hey, oh, man. Hey, it humble you though. It Not does. For real. It, it humble does, you, bro. Man, for real. That's what we were talking about. That's what we got close with the Lord at. That's what we met him at. In, 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 in incarcerated, huh? Yeah. Me and him, we fast for 72 hours one week. <laughs> We survived our liquids in a jolly ramp. Hey, look, I did a, I did a 72 hour fast two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I it's tried to different do them. in the world of me though. Like well, I try to do them, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I told myself this year I'm gonna do them monthly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like every month, I'm gonna take a week where I'm just gonna cleanse and reset, yeah. refocus, you know what I'm saying? And so so yeah, they necessary. They That's necessary. Oh, so so y'all linked up 
in the hood and in and in, on the inside. Yeah, when, when when we seeing each other, then he got a baby by my cousin. You know. What okay, I'm so y'all so niggas damn near cousins. Yeah. Like it, it's, it's all like everything just you know what I'm saying. Keep bringing that back together, man. That's why it's like this sh- B Ran Shano show, man. It's like so natural. Mm-hmm. I can tell by saying? your energy now. Yeah, I was gonna be. Nah. I can tell y'all. Y'all almost giving me Wallow and Gilly. You know what I'm saying? Just on on the engagement part. Yeah. yeah. On the engagement part. But shit, like. We ten years we already was supposed to have been started. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? like so so ago. so so y'all trying to drop this like episodes weekly. Y'all have y'all kind of thought about what production look like. Yeah, we already shot one, mm-hmm. but I mean weekly. My boy he do some weekly. It, 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 it's 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 out of town, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, my boy played for the Utah Jazz. <laughs> he ain't around that much. You know what I'm saying. I got to catch him on the road. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, or or what y'all might end up doing is like pre shooting, right? So that's how you that's manage that. That's yeah, you get here, what we're we kind of doing right now. You're going to shoot saying? a bunch of episodes and get them done, and then we're just going to release them mm-hmm. weekly, you know what I'm saying, or whatever that might look like. Yeah, yeah. shout out to Five, man. We yeah, shout, shout out to that Five, five cast, out Five cast, man. That's the, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so really. what's up, man? Got the, got the B-Ray and Shano show coming soon, man. Uh, uh. So, what what can people look to expect from the show? Other than other than y'all two personalities, right, in these different spots. What's what's the goal for the show? Is it to like give exposure to wherever y'all at? Is it to to uh shine a light on some specific topic or whatever? Like what what's the what's the goal of it? Man, it ain't no it ain't no limits. Every we we touching everything, everybody, all pause. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know. One thing about the Social media and the, and the shit of the day, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got something to say. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a story. Everybody got a testimony. Mm-hmm. And then at our age, we could pass some game down to somebody. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Every, Thank you. Somebody could use this game. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In every aspect of life, whichever way you're coming from, we can give you some game on the women. If you're doing dirt, we can give you some game on that. If okay. you in getting the education, we can give you some game on that. Like we 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 will verse, you know what I'm saying? We in we we in our angles, in our, our lane, you know. Got you. So you're really looking to to kind of capture some information and then share information. Oh right? yeah, for you know, sure. Like and then you know whatever the topics, you know, in the streets or music, sports, why we on our, we on top of all that, you know what I'm saying? So so and that's kind of one of the reasons why I was asking, right? Like up here, up here, and I can share this with y'all. I'm trying to follow. I'm trying to follow a model similar to uh to uh Los Chico and DC and them. Shout out to 85 South Show, right? And so one of the things Los did, he kind of sensei over there. And one of the things he did, he created the platform, 85 South Show, Channel 85. They got their own app, they got their own distribution yeah. model, they own building the whole play, right? And then within that, they got they got their show. <laughs> they got a sports show with the homie Nav Green. They got a, a ladies talk show with Poor Minds. They got they got like six other shows. They got the Black Market show, right? They got another one called the 85 Lounge where they just kind of laying back, chilling, having conversations. And so I'm like, I like the model. And so I'm replicating that here, right? We got most serious entertainment. That's that's my LLC. Then under that, we got the most city podcast where I try to politic with gentlemen like yourself. We got a show called Debate with Bake. That's a sports show. The yeah. niggas all about boxing, sports, NFL, basketball. They 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 going hard into the sports, right? Yeah. You, my boy C Bake, you probably gonna lose the debate with him. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's called debate with Bake. Yeah. And so we, and we doing sports. We got gloves up, guns down with the homie uh, Johnny Binder Jr. That's my OG. Yeah. That's what we trying to stop the violence and trying yeah. to impact the culture. Cool. And so I'm trying to come up with several different types of shows, yeah. right? To that I can push under the one. Network yeah, yeah, similar yeah, yeah. to what they doing, and so when I'm listening to y'all talk about creating a show and y'all out moving around, I'm sitting here politicking like, okay, Chuck, is this is this something I can just nah, I like, help I, in I like how you, I or like be a part you, of, you know like, saying? or do they just need some support? Like, I'm, I'm gonna help regardless, yeah, but I'm yeah, figuring yeah. out how can I help and what how can most serious benefit as well. And yeah. so, and we can figure that out later. Yeah. But I'm just letting you know. Where my mind at? Oh, you know no, what I'm look, saying? I can on some stuff, man. Oh, I man, got, look. Come on, got man. so much stuff about the man. We writing scripts, everything. Man. Well, and we, and, we, and the main thing is that that's my goal <laughs> to make Mo City great again. You know what I'm sure. saying? Like straight up. That's why. I, sure. it, look, my my tagline say, "Uh, it's serious in Mo City." 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's why my company's most called serious. Most Serious because it's uh, serious in most city. You know what uh, I'm saying? And so uh, I'm with that, bro. You said something, and I got that on my list here. Let's, so let, let's talk spirituality for a second, right? Like, like I'm a believer. I believe Jesus died and rose. Uh, and I, when I rap, I rap under the name Poetic Prophet, and I share those beliefs in my music, right? And so uh, you brought up fasting, right? That's usually on the spiritual level when people are doing that. Um, so, so where, where, where you at? I start with you, B. Ray. Where you at spiritually? You like, uh, uh, you, you believe? You don't like? I believe in um a higher power. I believe in God. You know, I mean, I'm not. It's so much. I just I go by the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't let believing and in, in, in too much. Like I, I thank God. I believe in God, mm -hmm. and I just want to move by the spirit. Everything else, I know what to do, what not to do, you know what I'm saying? That, that should be enough, you know what I'm saying? I thank God, I thank him for everything, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But, and so that's that's the main thing, right? Yeah. If you can uh, identify God as, as kind of the almighty being and believe in that, right? And then, yeah, try to move right. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you you know you ain't supposed to steal, you know what I'm saying, from that person or make mm -hmm. the harm that person if they ain't did nothing to you. You're supposed to protect yourself, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I just feel like it's... It's self-explanatory. I feel you. Believe, say, boy, say, I believe in God and, and, and I try to move right. What, what say you, Shano? Yeah. Kind of like what he said, but I, you know, the one-on-one -on -one relationship is was really important. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? If you, Because you got to talk to him, you know what I'm saying? Every day. You probably won't even catch yourself. You won't think you own some religious stuff, but every day you could talk to him and you don't even know. And it worked, you know what I'm saying? The Lord, he'll send a cry, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you crying out to him, he going to answer, you. you know what I'm saying? But as far as like the preachers and all that, I kind of stopped listening to them. Because with social media and with us having our access to everything, we starting to really see a lot of Fakery stuff. and foonery. And yeah, it's, we, it's a lot of, it's a a lot lot of, of stuff we was blocked from when we were young. You know what I'm saying? You just take the word and take mm -hmm. it and go with it, whoever it is giving it to mm -hmm. you. But nah. Well, you know yeah, and you know, and uh, me and A Dub was just talking about this. Like yeah. the scriptures say, study to show yeah. right and so so yeah a lot of times we yeah. get grew if you grew up in the church then you probably that's all you know right yeah. and then you can get stuck and not and not actually learn more and, and even worse than that be blocking yourself from learning more because you i'm only gonna believe this right and so now i'll be open to hearing everything yeah, yeah. And then i'm prayed up all the time like you yeah, say i pray sure. constantly you know what i'm saying all throughout the day and so so i feel like my energy and my spirit protected so i can be open to that yeah you know what i'm saying i i can be open to it i'm protected you know what i'm saying i'm not vulnerable right now i got on ephesians 6 say the, the shield of faith you know what i'm saying I, I got on the shield of faith right now and so arm, yeah, yeah i got the whole arm on you know what i'm saying yeah, and so yeah, so I, i'm yeah. open to all that i'm not vulnerable and so so that's what's up i'm glad to hear that because uh i and i asked that question because like I said, I'd be open to hear stuff. Yeah. Said that to Dub the other day. See, I have it with everybody I talk to, and everybody belief system be slightly different. And I'm okay with that. I just want to make sure that niggas believe in something. Because well, if you don't, you fall for anything. You know the what I'm saying? High power or he or whatever the being might be, is it's in everything. You know yeah. Saying? More importantly, it's in you. Them. Yeah, oh yeah, for more sure. More importantly, it's in you. It's yeah. definitely in everything, but more yeah. importantly, it's in you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I leave y'all with this here, and then we'll kind of switch it up. My bro JT. JT got a bar. JT got a bar on his song. He said, uh, he said, man, I prayed in the mirror because I wanted to talk to God in person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so because and the reality is when you're looking in the mirror doing that, I I, I can't finesse that guy. You know what I'm saying? I can finesse y'all niggas. I can finesse wifey. I can anybody I, else, man, my kids. Makes, but the nigga in the mirror, I can't finesse him, bro. He right there. That makes sense, though. It makes sense. I can't, I can't lie Dang, to God. I see everything. Like, that's God, though. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. Real shit. <laughs> Shout out JT. Yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah. And so, so I encourage people to do that. Like, when you're going through something, talk to that man in the mirror. Michael Jackson said a long time ago, the man, yeah, like, that yeah. was real. The man in the mirror is... Look, I noticed really just either, you know, because I used to just lay in the bed and pray. You mm -hmm. know what I'm mean? saying? But when I'm really going through it, I get on my knees, oh, man. So, so and there, when you get on your knees, really, if you could feel it, you might Well, drop so kills, there's so. value when you prostrate yourself. Yeah. Right? When you get on your knees, you're showing physically vulnerability. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm yeah. literally being vulnerable. Yeah. And so that's why certain people open their hands up, right? Because now I can receive as well. Yeah. And so, so... 
Yeah, it, it, positioning is powerful. Yeah, right. And so I pray at night like that, and I tend to wake up in the morning in that fashion. Right before I just get busy, let me hit my knees. Yeah. But then throughout the day, it's always conversation. It's always conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like wouldn't make it without them, bro. <laughs> straight up, man. So if y'all watching this or listening to this right now, man, uh, 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 Shano say the best, man. The one on one relationship, right? Find that relationship. B Ray say, man, believe in God, you know what I'm saying? And, and and try to do right. And I agree with both of those. That's that's a huge cosign, cosign from me. B Ray and Shano show coming. I'm gonna say 2024, because that's 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 so where we're they're gonna be able to find us everywhere, like where where people stream podcasts at and all over YouTube and all that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We just um started a YouTube page, B Ray yeah, and Shano show. Man, like, subscribe, okay, man, yeah, tap in, go man. do that. Oh, yeah, right now. I literally <laughs> just did that on we the way We shot a here. crib yesterday. We're going to drop that in a, in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we did a B-Ran <laughs> shot. So, a crib. Oh, so look, I'm about to go subscribe from the most serious ENT page. And so when y'all get that notification, man, click the button and subscribe back. Feel me? <laughs> For sure. B-Ray. Is it B-Ray? No, it's just B-R. It's all everything together. B R A Y A N D S H A N O S H A O O W. Yeah, he raised Shano show. Yeah. <laughs> Not the D, just you ain't put D, huh? No, I did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Man, so uh let's go up. Men's fragrance. Your home for 100% authentic men's cologne. We carry high-end fragrances like Creed, YSL, Gucci, Polo, and more at prices way below retail. Order online at mens-fragrance.net. That's mens-fragrance.net. All orders come with free shipping. Men's fragrance. Smell good for less. Let's go up a level. Y'all boys into any investing? Like any crypto, any stocks, any anything like that? Y'all y'all messing with it? I don't, I don't know nothing about it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I See, I'm trying to get my own strand of weed. That's about it. That's what I'm on good. right now. So, so I'm really good. working on that right now. Mm -hmm. So shit, once I get that, I'm gonna feel like I'm somebody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel very little. With the bag, you know what I'm saying? Like I already got my design for the bag, but I don't know what strands I'm gonna mix. Probably something close to that sour diesel or something, because I'm a sour diesel head. Man. I wish they would bring it back, you know? I know. I'm waiting on the Gary Payton. That's, that's I, my strength. The real, I had the some, real Gary Payton. Real Gary Payton. Yeah, well, I don't know. I had some, uh, his son, I had Gary Payton's son a couple months ago. <laughs> Gary Payton so, Jr. The yeah, Jr. Gary Payton <laughs> Man, when I was in Vegas. Well, was, shout out to the nigga gave it to me. <laughs> nah, so shout out to, uh, because the, the original strand, I think, is from, uh, man, I just I forgot the name of that grower. But I had it when I was in Vegas. Not cookies, huh? Yeah, cookies yeah, did. Yeah, cookies didn't did it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so uh, I was like, bro, this thing here made me feel like I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, yeah. so, and so then my plug had it out here one day, and I was able to get some. Other than that, it, it be, it, it, I figure it's seasonal. I'm hoping summertime yeah, will probably come back. I had yeah. some right in the spring, like close to summer, I had some. But Dang, I, like I said, I, like probably I, was his son. I got some some <laughs> cannabis uh, ideas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because I got a couple partners with smoke shops, you know, I'm a smoker, and so I'm like, okay, definitely got to shit. I'm made 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 a lot of money illegally with it in the, back in the day, so it's like now with the opportunity for it to. Because I'm hoping next year is legal here in Texas. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm prescribed. You know what I'm saying? Medical well, yeah, so right medical now. grade in some other spots you can. Yeah, but but you know, it's a lot of loopholes to jump through, uh, uh for the end user. You know what I'm saying? Hey, while we was talking about smoke shop, shout out Studio 2000, man. Shout out Cavano. Oh, yeah, Studio Cavano, 2000, man. man. She really. She do, most city she, for yeah, real. She, she's she right like, here, Fuquay, right? Yeah. She's been okay. there. Hey, man, that lady right wild. there, man. That lady do so much behind the scenes and help so many people. Mm-hmm. People don't, they be, you know, they don't really know, but that lady help a lot of people, like niggas in jail, like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, youngins and all that, like. She been doing the thing. Shout out, K. And so she yeah. got a smoke shop. Yeah, yeah, she got the smoke Studio 2000. Studio. I passed by yeah. frequently. I just ain't never stopped over there. Uh, Studio 2000, SM, um, Studio Music, Liquor. Yeah, all right there. 
Oh, right there, SM Liquor. She got a tax service. You know what I'm saying, man? That lady got everything, man. Got a man. I'll get the up. plug from her. I'll, I'll right. get the contact man. Ben, we'll though. go to politics with you. Get you up here, figure out what you're doing. She been though. You know yeah, and that's what I'm figuring. <laughs> But but smoke shop, so then you can stop there and like get reloads and cigarettes and all that kind of Everything, stuff. Everything, man. One stop shop, you can man, one stop shop for sure. All right, shout out to them, man. And since we shouting out smoke shops, I got up my plug, man. Shout out to Clouds. Okay. Y'all been to Clouds right down the street. Yeah. Shout out Clouds. Shout out Fluff, sure. what's good, Flo? That, that's broski, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And so uh they got what you need in there as well. Uh all right, man. B Ray and Shano at the table, man. This is Mo City Podcast. We're here just just politicking, man. Y'all look out for their show coming soon, man. Uh I'm I'm gonna subscribe and check it out and and sure. probably get featured on a couple episodes. Go out there with y'all, see what see what's going down. Uh let's see here. We're gonna talk work. We done talk music. We done talk zero. Shout out to the OG man. We done talk believing in God. We done kind of covered a bunch of bases, man. So so I got a part, bro, where uh, I call I call words and thoughts, right? Well, basically, I'm going to say a word. You tear with me the thoughts that word gave you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first word I got on here is loyalty. Everything. It means everything. Loyalty is everything. You can love, you can love somebody and not have loyalty. Mm. And that shit, I, fuck, fuck that love. You know what I'm saying? That loyalty, man. That loyalty, big. You so loyalty, loyalty over love. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. by the next word on here was love. Shout out L O E. Shout out Chopper Boy and them, man. <laughs> Chopper Boy L O E was good, fam. It's crazy you say that. I'm thinking about uh B J Hemp Hill brought him up earlier, right? Yeah. B J. When I asked him that question, he was like, "Man, Chuck, fuck love, bro." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out BJ. And he was Pop, like, man. he's like, man, I'd rather have peace. You know what I'm saying? And so, and so, I'm just hearing you kind of on the same energy. You know what I'm saying? You like, yeah, you know what? Uh, <laughs> What's love? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, loyalty, loyalty. Yeah. I could dig it. What say you, Shano? Since you're here. I mean, you know, everything got its pluses and its minuses, so it's kind of tough. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You could be too loyal. Yeah, facts. You can. You can love too hard. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn. So shit, I big old facts, dog. But it's just us, you know, we up in age, and that's why I love this. Everything people coming up under us, we lived in an era like. From the 80s to right now, we done seen so much. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The change that's going through, we done really came through the change. Like, well, well, from crack to shame to syrup so to what it is this now. this generation, right, Gen X, yeah. Gen Y joint, yeah. happened to be just on the on the verge of that change. Yeah. Like like our parents, it was pre day time. Yeah. That's why they ain't good with technology, right? And then our children... Like it was past their time. That's why they ain't good socially. Yeah. But they great with technology. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We did two generations in the middle that yeah. look, we was the we was here for the technology change, yeah. the birth of the internet. Yeah. And we was outside at the same yeah. time. You we know what I'm saying? Got out we was them. outside when it happened. And so we was yeah. able to like kind of finesse both of them. You turning the phone and dialing yeah. the numbers. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. Like from that to yeah, to this time. Exactly. Yeah. The yeah. old rap to the new rap. I mean, think like about we it. Look, look. We I, got, I, got, I got fat pet. I got yeah. screw on the wall in there, right? And I'm thinking about on, on the no drink, no drink screw tape. Fat yeah. Pat was like, yeah, uh, we got the, we got the, what he said, we got the, we got the hands free phone. He was rapping about what him and C Bunt was going to be doing in the future. Yeah. Video talking from phone. And so we here now with that. Yeah, now. We here now with that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And so he was just visualizing it, but we here now with it, you know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> and all yeah. within the same generation. And so and mostly everything that's going on, our Houston rapper said in a song before. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Go, the Bentley trucks, the Jack truck. We were saying it is before they even did it. You know what I'm saying? Well, they did it. No, no, facts. Shout out to shout out to Shout out to you know the old man. <laughs> shout out, shout out to uh, to Draper. Shout out to the to the masterpiece and all the people in the south who who made getting independent money a real thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so they was able to talk that talk because they was really getting that kind of money. Yeah. Shout out to Thugger and Screw. Like, I watched Screw make a million dollars. I never forget, never forget his first time at the car show when they brought the Lost Magnificos car show in. Screw went R.I.P. to Screw, greatest DJ ever. 
I, I watched them niggas sell a hundred thousand tapes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they had to keep going back to get more tapes. Yeah. And like I'm finna doing the math. Like we definitely pocket watch it. Like bro, I know I just bought four of them hoes for twelve dollars a piece. So yeah. if they just sold a hundred thousand of them, yeah, that boy made a meal ticket today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, so and that was real money then. You know what I'm saying? The game yeah, was different. Easy bro. money to them boys. Game was different. Game was different, bro. So, so, so I wish <laughs> and these ain't making money like that in music no more. Nah, like you got to go. You got to go touch a bunch of shows, a bunch of stages, and hopefully you getting, you know, like like the artists getting getting a, or a decent front and back end. You know, and what I'm not they wasn't doing no extra. They just was dropping, going rapping because they was chilling and on. Serb and leaning and feeling good. They ain't that rapping. We ain't even trying too hard and we making this money out for this shit. Well, and that's 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 one of the reasons I actually grew an appreciation for for Swisher House and how Watts handled it, right? Because I didn't listen to it. I was it was the nineties, bro. I was a screw yeah. head. Like yeah, we wasn't listening to nothing. Screw. Like what you mean? Yeah. That gets no play in this dick, right? Yeah, for sure. but, but as I got older and started looking at the business model, I could appreciate it. One thing they kind of did different from screwing them, right? Like, like you had to go get with screw if you wanted to get this tape. You had to go to the shop or go to his house, right? But with boys who was on on Swisher House, like you can pull up on some thug and he got he got yeah, he he got him. Yeah, yeah. You can pull up on Lil Mario, he got him. You, they they all had their own copies and they was able to make their own money. Yeah. I thought that was dope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was yeah, kind of the yeah. difference. And so, uh, yeah, shout out Watts. Man. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 just a different model. Shout out yeah, they had a different model that that worked for them. And so, uh, so, so that's what's up, bro. Next word for you, fam, is uh, while we're talking about money, the word is money. You can't take it with you. So, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. Like, I'm more on the 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 generational. Um, well, you know what I'm saying? Like like leaving something, leaving something for my kids. Yeah, you need the money, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, okay, yeah, make the money. But I'm more on the generation of Yeah, my kids, I'm kids, saying? kids. Yeah, type shit, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that when I go, if I ever go, I'm thinking about I'm going to be here forever, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, hey, the kids got somewhere. They ain't got to do shit. They set, you know what I'm saying? And then from generation to generation. So money... And yeah, I get what you. Um, What's it gonna be forever? Yeah. Well, we be wanting to, right? Yeah. We be trying to, but the reality is, the reality is, average lifespan for me and black men in America is sixty-seven. Fam. You know what I'm saying? Healthy black men might live to seventy-five. That's the, this day and age. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Back when we was in the nineties, it was like eighties. Man, yeah. my grandmother lived to be. 97 for she passed you know what i'm saying and so so we that those long genes kind of dying off mm -hmm. but the reality is he will spend the first 17 18 years of his life being taken care of right and then he'll spend the last last 10 years of his life being taken care of usually by his children you know what i'm saying and so that middle 40 years you know what i'm saying is, is really the time we got <laughs> to make it happen you know what i'm saying that that middle that that middle the, the, I tell my young boys the 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 second and the third quarter right yeah, yeah. so yeah. I dig this from ages zero to twenty that's the first quarter mm -hmm. right that's when you you kind of coming up you learning what position I'm good at I'm figuring out what I like to do right then 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 ages twenty one through forty that's the second quarter I'm working now I'm really trying to get up in the game. I'm approaching the half, and I like to not be down. You know what I'm saying? I'd have figured out what I'm good at shooting threes. Damn, damn I, know. I need to get a look, good little lead right quick. Exactly. Yeah. I know what I'm good at now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm executing on that. I'm a three-point shooter. I'm open on buckets. And then, you know, then you get to the halftime, yeah. 40, middle age, right? Nigga like me, I'm 44. I'll be 45 in April. I'm in the third quarter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 41 through 60 is the third quarter. I'm just third and a half. Yeah, I'm in the third quarter right now. So my goal for the third quarter is to run it up because so I can chill in the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? Now, I would rather be in the fourth quarter on the bench or walking around the bleachers, hollering at the yeah. fans. I'm not trying to be in the game. You know knowing, what I'm saying? Knowing we still won. And I ain't we up, up, yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? I got I got the rookies in the game. They playing because cause, cause, even my niggas who are in the second quarter, they up too. Yeah. And so they ain't got to play right now. So yeah. that's the message to the young boys. Identify what quarter like you in and recognize, get to it. And the message for my older cats uh, who might be in the fourth quarter and, and you don't feel like you winning the game, 
it ain't over yet. It's still time on the clock, and there is a such thing as overtime. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it ain't <laughs> and, never too late. It ain't never too late, fam. It ain't never too late. And so, when they say uh, age, hey, man, look, if I can do it, I can do it. Been to get to it. Been to get to it. So, 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 why y'all boys, right? We, 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 uh, uh, end of the second quarter, approaching halftime. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, like you want to, you want to hit the halftime ready. I like the plan. Y'all finna start the fourth quarter with a whole new play. See, I always say, well, <laughs> start we, the second half with a whole new play. We like, both 37, that's 13 years to 50. Okay, you know yeah, saying? so 37, okay, yeah, so y'all ain't still in the second quarter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. y'all finna introduce a whole new play to the game. Keep going. 50 and right around the corner. Nifty 50. 50. Yeah, Nifty I'll be there. 50. I'll be there. I'll be 45 next year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And time fly, fam. Yeah. Sure. Time fly. Sure, this year just passed. That's what I'm saying. It's already nah, it'll be next really? year in a few days, Monday. You know what I'm saying? And so time definitely fly. And, and it's important that you take advantage of the time, right? Because <laughs> it's flying. It's, as long as you being taking care of the stuff that's on your list, yeah, sure. being productive, then it's okay when the time fly because you can look back and be like, you know, we did this, we did this, yeah, we did this, we did that. But if you bullshit <laughs> and time still flying, you still gotta get this done. <laughs> And you probably not. You still gotta get this done. Nah. Nah, it's and dead. You probably not. And so, so I'm running out. Man, last word I got on here. I actually got two more words on here. One of them is uh, and you mentioned it earlier, uh, respect. I'm big on respect. Um man, yeah, hey, yeah, you gotta man. Hey, if I if I respect everything and everybody, I ain't got no problems. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the jail done taught us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? That just, hey, if I even probably even walk too close to you, hey, excuse me, my fault, big homie. I called you big homie. You you ain't number two feet tall. Mm -hmm. But I'm giving you that well, I'm respect. I'm giving you that respect. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It ain't it, it ain't a pride thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm big on respect because I know if I respect you and I respect everything and what's going on, I shouldn't have no problems. I ain't gonna. Di I'm not gonna disrespect you. I'm not gonna try to get you for no more. I'm not. I'm not gonna disrespect mm -hmm. you at all. Because once I disrespect you, I'm out. We already there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. We already there. But if you respect everybody and everything, what, what problems we gonna have? Straight up. That's how I look at it. Yeah, man. Respect. I mean, it's pr it's like one of the first things they teach you when you're coming up. That's mm -hmm. starting from the yes, ma'am, and the. No, ma'am, and the yes, sir, and the no, no, sir. sir. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still today. We still see it. It'll take you a long way, you know. It's it's going away, you know what I'm saying? But I try to enforce it all the time. Like, yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of these kids, they still don't even say thank you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They don't know. And so that's what I'm getting to, right? Like, is it because they don't? But yeah. is it who fault is it that they don't know? Right. Shit, ain't no more. Great grandmas and stuff no more. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I like know. we learned from the from Big Mama top. demanded it. Yeah, it was Big Mama demanded it. Already it. You know what I'm saying? It's our fault though, because again, it's our fault. For the simple fact, all right. Perfect example. My kids, if I'm in there talking, me and you talking about something we ain't got nothing to talk about, my kids gonna be right there. But let me would have been Ass I, about hey, hey, it's grown folk at the table. My mom and them gonna be talking, and, and once they realize that I'm sitting right here watching, they gonna be like, hey, something. I get you. You know what I'm saying? Or, or they might change the subject. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You probably can't leave, right? But they gonna respect the boundaries. You're yeah. right. Them boundaries being we, boundaries. We yeah. wasn't allowed. So no. we, you know what I'm saying? It's our fault because we know we, I'm we still know better. caught up in that. Because mm -hmm. I'm still here. I'm around everybody and I'll be like, shit, oh nah, see, I gotta get them out of here. Mm -hmm. And they looking at me like, oh, they always in here. But now when but I'm they in here, they ain't here. gonna be they, now we ain't gonna so do it like we didn't made it so comfortable. <laughs> I say mm -hmm. we because that's, that's our that. generation. Yeah, you know, that's our generation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Our grandmas is what, 30, 30 years old now. Thirty, you know what I'm saying? Like 35 years old. Mm -hmm. They grandmas, they still at the club. You know what I'm saying? Granny was at the house making sure, you know what I'm saying? Making and just providing and providing. just like, structure. Come on, right, man. Yeah, it's, it's, we so, don't have that no more. So, so, so it's it's, it's, it's us kind of lax on the rules, right? And then it's also, it's also generations got smaller. Cause like you just and said, younger. grandma, yeah, younger, yeah. grandma and daughter, <clears throat> and 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 granddaughter, 
like can almost go to the same place together. They for sure, boy. <laughs> they you, know, for sure. you know what I'm saying? And oh, so, nah, that's my granddaughter. Huh? Yeah, and that's literally like my wife and her daughter. Like yeah. they look just alike. And they yeah. get, they get called sisters frequently when they're together. Yeah. And that's her mama. You know what I'm saying? And, and so so it happens. Yeah. It happens. And we in a world where people really just like to say words. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like they say respectfully all the time. Mm -hmm. But they will respectfully disrespect you. Oh you yeah, they don't, they don't. <laughs> like, they don't mean shit. It's they don't not, understand. Yeah, yeah, nothing the words. means nothing to nobody. They, they just don't saying, understand you know, the words. Shit again too. We ain't had none of this internet. Yeah, we ain't have nothing. So whatever. When I see you, that's that's what that's it, what it, that's it is. What it is. Yeah. That's what it is. I can't portray nothing. Internet. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I caught you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you can't. You ain't got no time to put your mask on. You ain't got to do none of that. Nothing. You can't be fake. <laughs> I saw you, and yeah. you know that's the that's the that's the double edged sword of of the internet, right? Mm -hmm. And we were just talking about those generational differences, like your kids, my kids, they come up in an era where it ain't even it's not sneak dissing if I say something behind your back yeah. because I said it on the internet, yeah. and so even though I ain't said directly to you, you seen it, and everybody else seen it, and so I ain't got to stand up on it. Y'all seen it. Yeah. Me, and that's why they'll get mad if you don't comment. They be like, man, you ain't like my post. But they, they grew up in an area where they take that serious. That really yeah. means something. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so meanwhile, from our era, we was like, bro, if we ain't put no address on it. Facts. I ain't fit <laughs> even. Like, you ain't, you ain't said to me. Don't it's, fly, let it fly. Exactly. Nigga ain't so, step in the square, hit the show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that yeah. was the beginning of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because that's your space. That's what, if they ain't touch you, they could talk all day exactly. from over there. From over there. But now, the internet, the internet made over yeah. there right here. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. my place. Well, that nigga said yeah. something about you. You got to say something. I can't say something because everybody else saying you can see what they saying. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so I got to say something. Nah, friend. You can see what they saying. In my face talking about me. And I'm over here. And I got received, oh, you said something, oh, you had something to say too. Oh, and so yeah, and if you yeah. got the young, impressionable mind, yeah, you gon' you gon' that you gonna... social media yeah, embarrassment. Like Facts. you know, people don't like to be embarrassed anyway, but it's up here. You know what I'm saying? You For can see million, it. Yeah. yeah. You gonna go viral now. It ain't now it ain't yeah. viral. Yeah. You gonna go my viral. My point exactly. Like, like, they not they didn't take it up or not. You know what I'm my saying? My point exactly. And, and I'm thankful for the time frames because yeah, we was engaged in activities that probably shouldn't have went viral. Like I could imagine, I saw <laughs> I had this video tape, right? VHS tape, oh, right? So this VHS tape, uh, I thought I thought it was of uh, of my daughter's birth, right? Yeah. When they was born, I'm in the hospital with the VHS tape, and it's like uh, I'm gonna share this with them when they turn 14, when they turn 15. I'm thinking they sexually active. I'm gonna show them this tape. Right. Yeah, and so I carried the tape for ten years, fifteen years. I'm moving. I got this tape. I'm packing it. I'm keeping this tape. Yeah. Eventually, they get to High Tower. Right. My youngest was at Lake O. My oldest was at High Tower. We living in Till Run. They both got boyfriends. It's time to show y'all this tape. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I so I'm trying to preview the tape with my wife before I show it to him. This back to the story. It ain't that tape. This tape is of me in 1998. With, with with Ned and my partners at Capital Beach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, oh, for man. real. Bro, hey, it's nah, risky. You, oh. got some, you got that snappy nephew on there. <laughs> oh, yeah, for, for sure, snappy nephew. I popped the tape in white. She was like, what's that? I'm like, oh, EJ. She's like, nah, let it play. Like, look, disclaimer. Nah, <laughs> Nigga was 19, 18 yeah. when I was recording this. And so you don't see me, you just hear my voice. Yeah. I got the camera. Um, and so I'm filming out my, wow, we just live. I'm tape. The point I'm making is, that's one of the moments that should not go viral. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could imagine if niggas had smartphones at the back then, party. For sure, it would have been a lot of viral shit going on. For sure. Bro, the stuff that was, that was cool then is, is part of a Me Too moment now. Yeah. yeah. Nah, no bullshit. I mean, just consider that. Like, we grew up, I grew up listening to 8 Balls and MJG, you know what I'm saying, yeah. MC, bro, and yeah. watching movies called Porky's, right? Yeah. Yeah. And all this stuff here. And so, so like, listening to Two Life Crew, yeah. like, that was the norm. Now that shit will get you a case. Nah, shit, that, like I said, shit, you know what I'm saying? They had them ring cameras when we were young. They'll be dumb. Well, nah, uh, sure. Straight up. We've been dumb. Any of this technology on the door. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? Because our parents were detectives without the stuff. Without it. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop <laughs> till. They mm-hmm. find the niggas without cell phones. They got house yeah. phones in the beeper. I know where his ass is. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Man, last word I got for y'all on here <laughs> is uh, uh, support. Y'all need it. Thanks. Y'all need it. Hey, man, with, with a little bit of support, with some more support shit, we all have been and made it. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? For shit show. Sure. Y'all yeah. need it. All need support. Support, man. You know what? When COVID came, it really showed you how much support you really yeah. need. Facts, bro. Like from, and how tight you need to be with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause facts. That old pandemic, man. Man, uh, that was yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. It, it, it pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic. <laughs> it's so many names for it. Like, you know but saying? uh, <laughs> you're right. It did shine a light on who was with you and who wasn't. Oh yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying. It's still like this year was still a shedding. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Shedding year. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's how I know that 2024 20, is a harvest. You know what I'm saying? Year. You know what I'm saying? Because we just. We've been planting them seeds That's for what a little while. We've been if sitting you, on. If you're anticipating a harvest, then you must have planted. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We've been planting, planting, them. planting them. We've been planting them when we were locked down. We you got to, because I'll be telling people that. They'd be like, man, this is my year to come up. Oh, so that means last year you was planting. Nah. No, don't hit me with the 2024 going to be my year. Just if, dry. If you ain't spend 2023 planting seeds, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or 2022 planting seeds. Good yeah. seeds. You need nah. spend 2023 watering and fertilizing whatever your dream is. Then, 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 if then, then, twenty twenty four not gonna be your harvest year. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll be your year. You sow, you know what I'm saying, so you can harvest later. Yeah. But, yeah. but you gotta in order to harvest something, you gotta sow. That that's how that work, man. Bro, this has been a dope combo, bro. This is most city podcast, man. I'm Chuck. We got Shannon at the table. We yeah, got B Ray here. Third Ward mm-hmm. stand up. Most city yeah, stand up, man. Yeah. Y'all know what it sure. is, bro. We're here talking everything. We done went through music, misfit. Available right now, streaming wherever you stream music at. Just go search Misfit by B Ray. Uh, matter of fact, it's under Mo City B Ray. Uh, go look that up, man. Mo Block Entertainment coming soon. We got the B Ray and Shano show coming soon. Yes, hey, man, look, shout out to A Dub. Uh, because I saw those pictures you was with him at the Dubway Foundation doing the giveaways and all that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just glad to know that that people I know individually connected. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I didn't realize y'all was that connected. And oh, so yeah, just yeah. to realize, okay, yeah, that's just that's that's making most city great again. Yeah, I think, man, we we been we been like we all grew up together. Yeah, y'all saying? in that yeah. class. Yeah, we yeah, all in that class. Same class. So it's like we all seen each other, you know what I'm saying, at the bad times. You know what I'm saying? We didn't seen niggas at the good times, but the niggas this, like- Locked in young though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were locked in doing wrong. Shit, I mm-hmm. moved to I moved to Richmond and he came out there behind me. Oh, naturally. So I yeah. see him. Well, he's like, oh, you out here? He yeah, in his yeah. mode though. He got a little lag. I'm like, look at this. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, for sure. It, I'm coming from Old City though. Uh, you know, you right there. He and I, I think he got he, what you got held back or you fell. So you, yeah, 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 you yeah. behind. He yeah. come out there and because he behind me now. But I know, you know, mm-hmm. he's gonna be right there with me. But I'm still, I'm looking at him like. Look at me out here. Look at my nigga, man. Nah, he got about four in there with it. Nah, I'm talking about. <laughs> he got some rims hell. on the lack. Right hell, but nigga having his way out there in the country. Right? Hey, hey shout out Rosenberg, Richmond, man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out Rosenberg, yeah, yeah. Richmond, County, right? man. Yeah. 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 Everything that way, Country, Neville, yeah. Warren, Warren, Bay yeah. City. Yeah. You know what I'm know I fuck with y'all. Nah, Bay City, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Straight up, man. So look here, I try to end each one uh, with like a kind of inspirational moment, right? And so if you could, like, because at the end of the day, it's going to be some people watch this. It's going to be some people hear this, right, wherever they listen to the podcast at. But if you could, be ready. you go first, and then I'll close out with you, Shano. Uh, uh, let, let's just give them some FaceTime and give them some inspirational, some positive, and how, whatever that means to you, you know what I'm saying, as we get up out of here. Hey, man, first off, shout out. Mo City Radio, you know what I'm saying? Mo Serious Radio, shout out, man. Everybody in the Mo, you know what I'm saying? Shout out the whole Mo City. But, um, hey, man, just go with your move, man. You know what I'm saying? Go with your heart. Stay loyal. Stay, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's if you loyal, if you ain't got no type of cricket stuff in your heart, man, and you going right, hey, do it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to work out for sure. You know what I'm saying? Just... Do good by people, you know what I'm saying? Like that's really people. That's really how I move because like street karma, every all that karma real. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, just move right. It's no 
There's no reason right now I should be getting down on anybody or robbing anybody or anything like that. Just, bro, it's money out here. Facts. It's so it's so many outlets. Hey, go get you a real job. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, if I can, if I can leave you with anything, hey man, hey, if, if whatever you're doing not it. working, yeah, the streets not it. The streets ain't it. Like. Not is hey man. I know for a fact I'm got a check every week on this certain day, and I I can go I can go do what I want to do and buy what I want to buy, man, for sure. So hey, man, just do right by people. Period. Do right by people. And you'll man. see it, man. Yeah. Straight up. Sure. You good saying no? See, I can add to that. Uh, I don't know. I just been. All this is is like on algorithm. That's what I keep saying, hmm. man. The algorithm is working in the real life form right now. You know what I'm saying? From when we shot our first episode of the B Ray and Shano show, we went to shoot it. We end up shooting it. We get done, and bun walk in there. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Shut up, podcast. Du- Duval call on the phone. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? While we there. So I'm like, it's like, oh yeah. All this, it gotta be connected. The universe and God, we coming together. You know what I'm saying? There's no way. Because me and him done had indifferences. You know what I'm of saying? Of course. So it, it it gotta be God putting us back together. You know what I'm saying? To go for what it, it ain't even about the money. You know what I'm saying? The relationship is more important than anything. And relationships is what I was gonna tell you, man. Relationships so important. You know what I'm saying? Friendships, relationships, partnerships, whatever. You gotta be ten toes down with that man to to see any success in anything. <laughs> yeah, he huh? see that finger. Nah, nah, for real, man. Hey, leave the money out. The money gonna come. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta worry about that. You know what I'm saying? So just stay focused. As long as you prayed up, everything gonna turn for you. you man, know? that that boy dropped a key few key gems right there, bro. As we wrap yeah. up, man. Shano say, man, stay prayed up. He say, man, monitor them them ships you in, right? Situationships, relationships, partnerships. Monitor them, make sure they good. And man. algorithm, get in it for real. I'm, I ain't gonna lie, my my algorithm going crazy right now. Man. Well, and so, but that I can tell you where that come from though. Like the reality is, you 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 framed it as an algorithm, which technically that's right. But the reality is, you just vibrating high. Yeah. When you yeah. operating with yeah. a high vibration yeah. of staying yeah. positive, then those doors start aligning. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's when the nigga be out here moving. And fuck shit and, and messing over people that yeah. the vibration be low, the algorithm ain't working and ain't nothing mm. popping. But when you trying to vibrate right, I'm trying I'm intentionally trying to do right by people. Like I'm intentionally showing you respect. I'm intentionally trying to walk in righteous. I'm intentionally, you know what I'm saying, vib- vibrate on a higher level. I'm intentionally ducking fuck shit. Like I'm intentionally guarding my spirits. Yeah, then 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 you vibrate at a higher level. Yeah, the good. algorithm work in your favor, yeah. right? God kind of show you favor is what they mean you know what i'm saying and so so i could dig that man nah this been dope fam it's sure. been dope fam i'm glad you pulled up you know what i'm saying Did i ain't even come for no interview i was just supporting the bro <laughs> like support i appreciate you pulling up too and, and even the yeah. connection from back i'm looking at you like i know I see. yeah 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 oh, like, but when, I see, when you said mark anthony in that bar bar studio bar rio and he i was like, like Pleak, that's what it was because what oh six oh seven this is oh, what eight. it was yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I was in the mix tough, like, and, so, and, so, yeah. that's, that's and it was good out here then. Like, it was super good. Dude. But that I was referring to those times. School yeah. was alive. Like, these was times when these were kids funny. It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was good, bro. Sure. Man, y'all done tuned into some real most city business today, man. We gonna stand on it, you know what I'm saying? I'm stuck at Shano, most city B-Ray, man. man. Y'all been tuned into the most city podcast. And we out.